dear students good morning to all of you welcome back to the lesson the rat trap already we have four sessions now today we will deal with, deal with the fifth session let us make a brief uh, recap of what you have already learned the first point is uh, the rat trap peddler uh, what is he and uh, how does he make a living and his uh, idea about the world as a rat trap the metaphor the world as a metaphor and uh, his uh, stay with uh, a crofter at his cottage and uh, uh, how the peddler is caught in a rat trap and uh, when he was trapped in the forest there was a sound that was a sound of hope and he could reach the iron mill there the blacksmith uh, given him a hearty consent and uh, there came the honor the iron master and iron master mistook him as one of his uh, old comrade okay uh, and he invited the peddler to his home but he denied but uh, the iron master sent uh, his uh, own daughter to persuade him there we stopped finally uh, we are at page number 37 all of you take page number 37 yeah we are at uh, page number 37 uh, uh, the iron master sent his uh, daughter and uh, daughter came along with uh, her valet valet is uh, you know what valet is a male attendant all of you write down she came there with her valet okay valet here means male attendant she entered followed by a valet carrying on his arm a big fur coat she was not at all pretty means beautiful but seemed modest and quite shy in the forge everything in the furnace the place the iron mill everything was just as it had been earlier in the evening the master blacksmith and his apprentice you know what an apprentice is apprentice means one who learns a job and his apprentice otherwise we can say here help still sat on the bench and hand and the charcoal still glowed in the furnace the stranger had uh, stretched himself out on the floor and lay with a piece of pig iron under his head and his hat pulled down over his eyes as soon as the young girl caught sight of him she went up and lifted his hat the man was evidently used to sleeping with one eye open he jumped up abruptly and seemed to be quite frightened the word abruptly quickly frightened panicked actually uh, the daughter of uh, the iron master her name is uh, edla wilmanson and uh, she wanted to invite this uh, stranger to her home uh, as a guest to the christmas party and when she was about to call and uh, the man jumped up abruptly and uh, was in panic okay he was about to sleep uh, keeping a big iron as a pillow okay that was the situation now let us uh, continue my name is edla wilmanson she introduces herself to the stranger my name is edla wilmanson said the young girl my father came home and said that you wanted to sleep here in the you wanted to sleep here in the forge tonight and then i asked permission to come and bring you home to us i am so sorry captain uh, that it was uh, that you were having such a hard time actually she was also told by her father that the stranger was uh, none but uh, one of his old comrade okay uh, captain stahle right so she also carried the same uh, belief now next paragraph she looked at him compassionately with compassion with her heavy eyes 
and then she noticed that the man was afraid either he has stolen something or else he has escaped from jail she thought and added quickly you may be sure captain that you will be allowed to leave us just as freely as you came only please stay with us over christmas eve actually the girl understood that the daughter of uh, iron master understood that the man was not that uh, uh, educated or the man had some problem either he might have escaped from jail uh, okay so that was the idea that she carries okay and uh, finally she invited uh, that man to his home uh, and pleaded him to attend the christmas eve she said this is in such a friendly manner that the red trap peddler must have felt confidence in her so her voice is uh, very sweet she is not that pretty but uh, she has a, a good way of uh, hospitality she invited uh, him and uh, finally uh, who was uh, convinced i think the peddler was convinced it would never have occurred to me that you would bother with me yourself miss he said i will come at once finally the peddler was ready to uh, accompany uh, wilmanson okay edla wilmanson is her full name children re do remember uh, yeah he accepted the fur coat that was actually the fur coat was brought for this uh, person which the valet the male attendant handled him with a deep bow threw it over his rags and uh, followed the young lady out to the carriage without granting the astonished blacksmith so much as a glance actually seeing all these thing the blacksmith in the iron mill was uh, much astonished or surprised to see all these thing a uh, beggar type man was given importance and was invited to dine uh, in the eve of christmas okay but while he was riding up to the manor house he had evil forbiddings yeah children what do you mean by evil forbiddings anticipation of evil something bad is going to happen so all of you note down the difficult word forbiddings uh, anticipation of evil so the man expected something bad may happen actually he was afraid of that 30 kroner that he has stolen from the crofter why the devil did i take that fellow's money he thought now i am sitting uh, in the trap and will never get out of it and actually he felt he was uh, really trapped because of stealing that money okay the next day was christmas eve and when the iron master came into the dining room for breakfast he probably thought with the satisfaction of uh, his old regimental comrade whom he had run across so unexpectedly. So the iron master was very happy to have his old comrade at his home uh, at the eve of Christmas. Okay. Uh, and uh, he was about to be served uh, dining, I mean, so dinner at the dining room. Okay. Let us see. And he was totally satisfied. Okay. First of all, we must see it to that he gets a little flesh on his bones. He said to his daughter, who was busy, uh, busy at the table, and when we must see that he gets something else to do than to run around the country selling rat traps. Actually, the iron master has decided to help this uh, old comrade and uh, not allowing him to move around like uh, selling rat trap or making a be uh, begging or. Uh, doing a little theory so he has planned something to do with this man let us see it is sure strange that the thing have gone downhill with him as badly as that said the daughter last night i did not think there uh, was anything about him to show that he had once been an educated man actually the girl has got doubt uh, uh, nothing could be seen in that man that he was educated okay you must have patience my little girl said the father as soon as he gets clean and dressed up, you will see something different. Last night he was naturally embarrassed. The tram manners will fall away from him with the, the tram clothes. Actually, the iron master expects that uh, the man would show his real quality once the uh, tram manners are removed. Actually, the, uh, the beggar's uh, look will be different once he is cleaned up. So he orders his uh, valet 
to clean the man. Just as he said, this door opened and the stranger entered. Yes, now he was truly clean and well dressed. The valet had bathed him, cut his hair and shaved him. Moreover, he was dressed in a good looking suit of clothes which belonged to the ironmaster. He wore a white shirt and a starched collar and whole shoes. Actually, the valet was assigned the work of uh, cleaning the man and the valet bathed him, uh, not only bathed him and uh, cut his hair and shaved him and now he looks very uh, gentle with the new cloth offered to him. But uh, although his uh, guest was now so well groomed, well groomed means well shaped, well groomed, the iron master did not uh, seem pleased. But, but uh, iron master is not happy. Why? Because uh, now this peddler doesn't look like that of his old comrade. He looked at him with puckered bro, means angry bro, and it was easy to understand that when he had seen the strange fellow in the uncertain reflection from the furnace, he might have made a mistake, but that now when he stood there in broad daylight, it was impossible to mistake him for an old acquaintance. Now the iron master understood that it was a uh, mistake from his side that he mistook him as his old comrade. Now he doesn't look like that of his old. What does this mean? He thundered. The stranger made no attempt to dissimulate. Okay, what do you mean by dissimulate? Pretend. Okay, children, here is a difficult word for you. Dissimulate means pretend. He saw at once that the splendor, beauty had come to an end. It is not my fault, sir, he said. I never pretend to be anything but a poor trader. And I pleaded and begged to be allowed to stay in the forge, in the furnace. But no harm has been done. At worst, uh, I can put on my rags again and go away. But the uh, peddler is uh, requesting. Sir, please don't scold me. Why? Because he said... I never expected, uh, I never pretended that he was the, uh, that uh, what you call, the old comrade. But he himself admits that he was a poor trader, okay, and also pleaded uh, and begged to be allowed to stay in the forge. But uh, the iron master only invited him to his home. And uh, he even assures that he can wear his rags again and can take his old identity. Well, said the iron master, hesitating a little, it was not quite honest either, you must admit that, and I should not be surprised if the sheriff would like to have something to say in the matter. Okay, so here is a word for you, sheriff means city officer, police officer, city officer. Actually, he wanted to inform uh, the sheriff about uh, this cheating, actually. Uh, the iron, the peddler should have convinced or should have uh, confessed that he was not uh, one of his old comrades. So who was angry now? Uh, the iron master is angry here and he said I would be informing the matter to sheriff, the city officer or the policeman. The tram took a step forward and struck the table with his fist. By then the tram became angry and he struck his uh, fist on the table and said, now I am going to tell you, Mr. Iron Master, how things are, he said, this uh, whole world is nothing but a big trap, rack trap. So, dear children, this is his uh, philosophy or the metaphor used here, that the entire world is a uh, rat trap and all the good things that are offered to you are nothing but uh, cheese, rinse, cheese, rinse, wines and uh, bits of pork, means it is nothing, the bait. The bait here is the cheese and the pork set out to drag a poor fellow into trouble and if the sheriff comes uh, now and locks me up for this then you Mr. Iron Master must remember that a day may come when you yourself may want to get a big piece of pork and then you will get caught in the trap. Actually the iron, uh, when the Iron Master said uh, that uh, he would be calling the sheriff to hand over him to uh, okay, hand over him too. But at uh, that time, the peddler got angry and said, the entire world is a trap. Now I am uh, uh, trapped because of the offer by you. The same way, uh, you would also be trapped somewhere uh, if uh, he was to be sent to the sheriff. The master began to laugh. That was not so badly said, my good fellow. Perhaps we would let the sheriff alone on Christmas Eve. 
but now get out of here as fast as you can now the peddler gives some sorry the uh, iron master gives some relaxation to peddler saying that sheriff may join the christmas eve but you may disappear you may go as fast as uh, you can that was his dialogue but just as the man was opening the door the daughter said i think he ought to stay with us today i don't want him to go and uh, with uh, that she went and closed the door but by the by then uh, edla will mansen daughter of uh, the iron master came there what what did she request don't allow the peddler to go away actually she wanted to uh, pay hospitality to this uh, stranger though he was not the old comrade of her father she wanted that uh, the man should be a guest for the uh, dinner party of christmas party i think he she said i think he ought to stay with us today i don't want him to go this was her request to her father and ch children today we will close here uh, now uh, let us make a quick recall of what we have done today so it is all about uh, how that uh, girl etla wilmanson was able to invite uh, a peddler to home and uh, how the peddler accepted it and uh, after uh, reaching the mansion or after reaching the iron master's home iron master uh, ordered the valet to uh, bathe him up and after uh, getting cleaned uh, that peddler the peddler uh, didn't look like that of his uh, old comrade so uh, the iron master became angry and uh, wanted to get rid of uh, that man but uh, edla wilmanson daughter of uh, the iron master wanted him to be the guest of the christmas party so children we will continue with the class uh, with the next session and uh, uh, keep on reading and also try to answer some of the questions uh, oh, yeah like uh, what made the peddler think that he had indeed fallen into a trap why did the iron master speak kindly to the peddler and invite him home why did the peddler decline the invitation right okay what made peddler accept edla wilmanson's invitation what about what doubts did edla have about the peddler when did the iron master realize his mistake what did the peddler say in defense when it was clear that he was not the person the iron master had thought he was why did edla still entertain the peddler even after she knew the truth about him these are the eight questions that you have to find answers to and to write in your notebook and uh, that is the end of today's class bye bye